Hello, everyone. Guess how expensive it's going to be in these moments of failure. Let's get it on. In situation one, it seems that the Dodge Viper car has had to suffer the consequences after accepting a race offer from the other car. This is also an expensive lesson for Dodge Viper not to put pressure on others' words. He's right here. It seems that just a little bit more than the drift of the Lamborghini caused it to lose control. So lucky. I am sure that it was probably the driver's carelessness in reverse that caused the car to damage the front bumper of the Mercedes like that. Oh my gosh. I mean, this Ferrari was going at such a fast speed that everyone on the road was scared even when there was a collision with the SUV. Not only have luxury cars lost control, but this truck also has the same problem. Damn, it's so scary to see the truck lose control and rush into the house like that. Um... If this road is wider, it would not cause the garbage truck going down the hill to roll over. Praying for the people to be safe and for the workers to have a safe retrieval process. It was difficult for the semi-truck stuck in a train line to back out in time even though someone had signaled. Get creamed. Oh my gosh, the barriers came down around 20 seconds before the train was there, but no luck for the container that got stuck and couldn't get out in time. Oh, oh my god. Oh. I hope you're okay now, man, but you can't pass other vehicles on the right. You have a lot of time to go on the left and slow down a bit. Drive carefully. Oops, if he hadn't had such a sudden fall on his expensive Ducati, there would have been some great turns for him. I think it was because he was too hasty to enter the bend without controlling the speed that he caused such an accident. Bro thought he was doing a burnout. Wow, are you surprised when you first saw the Ferrari 488 walking on the sea like that? I never feel bad for rich people.
that's the track I race at. That's a tough corner, and you gotta have your full attention. <laughs> Yo, you're killing him! <laughs> Surround yourself with those on the same mission as you. Oh my gosh, I was so surprised about a supercar with sticky notes. Awesome. Why do people do this? And I bet it's something for Zoom. Do wet me. If That's not really revenge if you're paying for all the damage. Tremendo lío, mi amor. Ay, mamacita, mi. Unbelievable. This BMW has such an unforgettable experience at the beach. It's so sad to see a Lamborghini burn down so quickly. Perhaps because the Audi was going too fast and ran a red light, it crashed into another car on the turn. I think it was because the Audi lost control with the slippery snow, so it crashed into another car going in the opposite direction, and both cars were badly damaged. The rear end of the Audi into the rear of the container truck caused the car to be severely damaged. speed of 200 kilometers per hour, perhaps this Audi had to receive the consequences of crashing into the road railing. And maybe this car was badly damaged. Perhaps because the Audi went in the opposite direction at too fast a speed, it caused an accident for two cars in a row. Probably all three cars were badly damaged at the front. The accident happened so quickly that the Audi traveling at 200 kilometers per hour veered off the road and hit the grass. I think this car overturned and broke its glass. Perhaps because this Audi S3 went too fast to speed, it lost the steering wheel and flipped right on the curb. Fortunately, someone saved this driver from the car. Perhaps the Audi wanted to pass, but it was itself in a slight collision with the car behind. The driver of the Audi got down to see if there was any damage. Even though the Audi was slowing down from the turn, it was possible that the road was snowy, but it still collided with the oncoming vehicle. This Audi A8 just turned from the road, went too fast and hit a pedestrian crossing the street and escaped. Fortunately, this pedestrian was not seriously injured. Perhaps it was because the Audi was out of sight from the turn, so it crashed into the car going straight. And there was no serious damage to the two cars. It's scary when the Audi suddenly stops on the road and gets hit. Ah, 
метки поставил. Шестик как раз мы за два часа мы доехали. Я говорю, не спеши. конкретно критерий вот этот вот ой Бодаешься. какой ужас стекла туда едете светлана обратно через отдельную Так вот, блядь, сигналю. Не долево вперед. Ах, еба, не лево. Костя, троешка отвечает. в три часа вроде в четыре выехали и в общем до шести часов мы с ним ехали Tell me what is the most impressive moment for you. Let's explore more expensive failure moments in the next section. And that's all for today. Wow, we just had a million dollar failure experience. 
If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to the channel. See you again. Hello, welcome to Swag Fails Supercar Fails channel. Swag Fails Supercar Fails is a channel that brings you traffic failure situations on the road, racetrack, and anywhere. If you're a big fan of Supercar Fails, crash car compilation, and incredible traffic situation caught on dashcam, don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel. Wish you have relaxing moments on the channel Swag Fails Supercar Fails. Goodbye and see you in our latest video. I can hear the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through I just gotta get through, I just gotta get through Cause I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through Sometimes I feel like all is lost, but I know it's not true I wanna put up all my walls cause I'm not in the mood but then I cut myself off from the rest of the room I know that I can kneel it all if you're patient and soon it can all be worth it all the searching pain is never really permanent but damn it hurts man I could feel all of the turbulence and it's concerning